Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I did this super dramatic winged eye and I paired it with a nude lip. If you want to know how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. I'm priming my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre first and I'm using Precision Round P82 Sigma Brush. Once I've covered the whole eye area with it, I use my fingers to blend it out. I'm going to apply a bit of tape to the corners of my eyes just to get a really sharp edge. I'm going to use this palette called Paula's Choice Nude Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going to take this color here and use that in the crease. So just in the upper crease area, I'm going to apply this color here and I'm just going to blend out that darker brown. Going in with the black from this palette, I'm going to focus this on the, um, the wing area of the eye and I'm using a Morphe M326 brush. So now that I have the wing marked out, I'm going to use a eyeliner E05 brush from Sigma and the AMC gel liner from Inglot in 77 and I'm just going to create a really really sharp wing. So I'm just applying a quick coat of Benefit's Their Real Mascara, just to the top lashes. And then I'm just going to apply a pair of false lashes, these are Velour, um, they are Wing Woman. And then you just want to go over that lash band with some more of that eyeliner. My OCD gets out of control when I can see the white glue, but it will dry. For foundation, I'm using Makeup Forever's H Ultra HD and I'm color 140. I just apply it with a foundation F60 brush and I just apply it to the whole of my face. Before applying this, I just applied Benefits Professional. Then I'm just going to use the Real Techniques sponge to blend out the foundation. So I have the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Light Contour Palette and this is a cream contour. Um, so I'm going to use this to sculpt and highlight my face today. I'm going to take my MAC Angled Contour Brush and I'm going to use the colour Java. And that's going to be me sculpting out the face. So I'm just going to apply it to the forehead area. Make sure you get really close to that hairline and even in the hairline so that there's no like white line around the hair. Oh, I love this colour. Love it. I'm just going to put this underneath the cheekbone.
and then I'll use the concealer F75 brush and I'll just sculpt out the nose. And then use a sponge to blend that out. And then to highlight, I'm going to use this yellow one called Banana, obviously, underneath the eyes. So I have the Ilamasca new sculpting palette and I'm so excited to try this. Um, I'm going to use this colour just to set the under eye and I'm using a 114 brush from the Weaver. So I'm packing it on quite thick, I'm going to use this colour and I'm going to set the contoured areas with a tapered highlight brush. And using a M443 brush, I'm going to set the nose contour. So, need I say more about this? I'm just in love. Like, hands down, amazing. This is the So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just in love with this stuff. I'm gonna put it all over my face. And I'm just gonna apply it underneath the brow bone as well. So I'm going to use Paula's Choice Brow Defining Cream Duo and I'm going to use my usual 322 brow line brush from Zoeva. I'm just going to apply Max Fascinating Eye Cold Pencil to the waterline and always I use a sponge to pull down the eyelid. On the lips I'm going to apply Melt Cosmetics Nude Lipstick and this is a part of their Nude Collection. 